Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on expanding triple brackets. So we're going to go through this topic with the help of a couple of examples, uh, but if you've not seen our videos on expanding single brackets and expanding double brackets, then I recommend you watch those first because those skills are going to help you with this topic. So uh, let's start with looking at this example where we have to expand x plus 1 times x plus 3 times x minus 2. So I'm going to rewrite the expression here. We have x plus 1 times x plus 3 times x minus 2. Now effectively what we're going to do here is treat this as a set of double brackets and a single bracket on its own. Uh, so let's just draw a line in here to say we're going to ignore this x minus 2 bracket for now and we're going to treat this x plus 1 times x plus 3 as a double bracket. So we're going to use the FOIL method here which is first, outside, inner and last, excuse my handwriting there, uh, but essentially this is going to give us x times x as the first, that gives us x squared. Then we have outside, which is x times 3, so that gives us plus 3x. Then the inner terms, so that's 1 times x, which gives us plus x. And then the last terms, which give us uh, 1 times 3, which is plus 3. So if we put this in brackets, we're going to be multiplying this by x minus 2 in a minute. Uh, but for now, let's just collect the like terms on what we've got here. Uh, so we've got x squared plus 3x plus x, which gives us plus 4x plus 3. So that's our expanded double bracket, and we're going to multiply this by x minus 2. So we just extend the FOIL method here and do more or less the same thing. Uh, so we're going to multiply this x squared by x first of all. Uh, so that's going to be x cubed. Then we're going to multiply the x squared by minus 2 to give us minus 2x squared. Then we multiply the 4x by the x to give us 4x squared. And then we do the same, multiply it by the minus 2 to give us minus 8x. Now we do the same with the 3. In fact, I'm just going to redraw that x there because it looks a bit confusing. So now we do the same with the 3 here. So we get plus 3 times x, which gives us plus 3x. And we get plus 3 times minus 2, which gives us minus 6. So that's the expanded triple bracket. We just need to collect like terms now. So uh, we have one term in x cubed. So that's just x cubed on its own. And then the terms in x squared, we have minus 2x squared plus 4x squared. So that simplifies to plus 2x squared. Now we have two terms in x. So we've got minus 8x plus 3x. That simplifies to minus 5x. And then we have minus 6 on the end. So that is the expanded triple bracket in its simplified form. If you're feeling ready to test yourself with some triple brackets questions, you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform, and here you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which you'll get instant feedback on, allowing you to keep track of where you're going wrong and how you can improve for the actual exams. So if this is something you're interested in, you can click the link below and it will take you straight over there.